guys, welcome to another episode of Sal with Sanas. We're here today at another luxury home in Toronto. It's over $5 million, super contemporary. We picked just the right pieces for it. My team and I are super excited to get started. We know what it's gonna look like, but I'm glad that you joined us. get our workout <laughs> in throughout the day by lifting our accessories because something like this actually weighs probably eight to nine pounds each so you need a very sturdy table to hold it really hold it hold, like seriously it is hold it don't drop it though what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> i'm really like underneath holding don't drop my accessory don't ruin it <laughs> So I was gonna get you for a second. So I, was, uh, I know you're concerned of how long the sectional is. So what I was thinking was we could we could like take a piece out and put it on this side so that there's like three across and then three down so that it's a little bit more symmetrical. Okay. So I can see that working. Can we move it so like a little bit more this way though so it's centered with what's going oh, on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Once once we pull out the piece, we'll, okay. we'll bring it in so it's centered to the room. But I just want to know what end piece do you want? Like do you want the corner on that corner? Or I could bring it over here and then it can be open if you wanted to put an accent table or something. I think we should do open there, have an accent table so just so it's not so intrusive with the armrest, right? right? Leave it open, end table, finish off your arm here. Do your other accent table beside your accent chair in this corner. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. So that works out well. Yeah. Because then we can piece it all together. I like it. Right? Modular all the way. Yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here we are standing in the foyer. Staging is complete, my team is gone. I'm gonna do a walkthrough with you, so let's go through. This is the foyer area, as you can see, very grand, custom, everything is gorgeous. Beautiful wall paneling, uh, brass light fixtures. Then we come into the office space. Gorgeous wall unit. I mean, everything is so nicely done here that our pieces really just accent it. But again, we decided to go with oversized pieces because it is a big office and you don't want to show small furniture because then it'll look weird. Love the finishes they did. The colors, just everything looks so nice and neutral. And we actually accented that with our neutral light gray accent chairs here. I opted to do a glass top dining table just because the space here is not as big um, as some of our other homes. So we did a glass top just so it's a little bit more airy and it doesn't stop you. It's not like a solid piece. But our sideboard here is, which also is a nice accent. Again, beautiful brass light fixtures, which we accented on our sideboard here. Eight chairs. Okay, so this is the family room, the great room actually, because it is a living room and a family room combined. So you do need to show more seating. We opted to go with, as you saw previously, we were discussing with the sectional piece, with our accent chair, coffee table, end tables, and it'll give you a great view to your ginormous TV that you'll be putting up here. So this room already has such beautiful features with the wall unit and the ceiling. They have the waffle ceiling, so beautiful details already. Really, our furniture is just accenting that. And that's why I didn't want to do anything too powerful, but something to flow with the rest of the room. So you have the sectional, beautiful plant here. Again, greenery gives a little bit of life to the room. It's always a good idea to use it if you have the space for it. Then we did the two-piece coffee table here, just because, again, you want to make something a little bit bigger, a little bit more substantial. You could do two to three pieces if you have the space for it. Okay, so let's go to the kitchen area. 
love these windows. This house just feels so open and airy. Feel like you're outside. Uh, we did a four piece here with a round glass. Again, I would have done more, but I didn't have the space for it. Then we did our black bar stools. The reason for that is I wanted to accent the black that's been used in the house already on the countertop here and uh, the fireplace in the family room. Guys, I love the, this master bedroom. It turned out so nice. Come take a look. So you have beautiful grays, which they did. The wall paneling here is absolutely stunning. They did it in a warm gray. So we kind of accented with that. I did the headboard white just because I didn't want it to be something dark that's going to kind of blend in with the uh, background. I wanted to kind of pop with the white bedding and some accessories, lots and lots of throws. Throws make the bedroom look that much more comfy and cozy. And yeah, so you have a king size bed, two nightstands, bench, and pillow party. Guys, thank you for tuning in. It was fun going through this process with you. As you can see, every project has its own story behind it, and I'm glad that we can share ours with you. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe to our page. We love giving you content, but we want to hear your feedback too. Have a great day. See you next time.